Well, hello there. My name is HW. Hey, I'm the Suze. Suze, uh, today we are talking about, uh, well, you know what we're talking about. Yes. Dudes, today we're talking about uh, <laughs> movable corb shapes, how to play like the Suze. HW, shut up and let Suze talk now. <laughs> yeah, so today we're going to talk about just basically keeping your left hand in the same spot. Um, and Wait, and Suze, before you start, yes. shameless plug. Shameless. We're playing the new uh, Match Cold H32 Profiles. HW will shut up now. <laughs> That sounds awesome. Um, yeah, so movable chord shapes. So basically keeping your left hand in the same spot um, and putting that on different root notes in that key. Okay, so like if we're in the key of G, we've got our low G here on the third fret. And so the shape I'm gonna be using is um, G there, E on the D string, and then B on the G string. And so I'm muting that A string I'm in between, and so you just get those three notes. So then, wherever your ring finger is, that's going to be the root of the chord. So that's a G, um, and this is really kind of a G6 chord. You have your G, B, and you're adding that E, which is the 6. Okay, so from there, you can go up to C, and you can go up to D. So normally, like a G, C, D progression, uh, we're all used to that. But this is just using that same shape. Nothing in your left hand changes except for where your ring finger is. So just aim for that G, aim for that C, and that D. Sounds like this. So it just makes it easy on you that you don't have to always be coming up with a new shape as you go up the neck, but it's an interesting kind of different sounding progression. Um, so I'll do another one as well. So this is a um, like a E E9 shape, so open E, and then you've got 11th fret. 9th fret, 11th fret. So you're kind of getting this little staggered position. So from there, we can play that a bunch of places. So I'll just kind of show you as you go down. I'm always looking at my ring finger to see where it's landing and the rest are just locked in position. So here's the first one on the 11th fret. Then down to the, was that 6th fret? And down to the 4th fret. You can even do um, up here on the um, what was that ninth fret. So by keeping that same position just locked in, you get these really in the key of E. You get these really nice um, kind of cluster chords that are uh, really cool sounding. So here's how that sounds. So again, really minimal work on your part. Just keep that locked into place and move it around. Just aim with that ring finger uh, where it's going. Um, and then maybe one more. So the last one will be um, of the C shape. Uh, and this is actually gonna be in the key of G. And so you might have seen this before, moving from um, an open C chord up two frets to this D kind of suspended um, nine with an E on top. So it's a, a really clustered chord, but it sounds cool. Just think of a C, but two frets higher. And then if you go up to here with your ring finger on the 10th fret, that's going to be your G. And you can actually keep it down here um, on the 8th fret, and that'll be like an F. So it'd be like a, um, you know, in the key of G, uh, that borrowed 7 uh, F chord, okay? So you've got those, uh, those four chords that we can focus on. Everything else is kind of open above the, like the G and the E string stay open. So that sounds like this. <laughs> So they all are kind of clustered together and have a really cool like open sounding thing. Obviously these only work in certain keys. So like, so this is a, a trick in the key of G. And so I'll kind of play something rhythmy and also something picked. Uh, just keep that C shape locked in and move it all around. So I think with all, all of these techniques, you're using things that are very easy for you, but sound very kind of complicated and cool to the listener. So it's a, it's a good ROI. 
It's good ROI. <laughs> that was uh, that was a good summation of uh, a lot of your playing, Suze. Yeah, for it's, sure. It's not not so. What did you say? It's not so. Uh, it's pretty easy to learn, but it's a good. Uh, it's yeah, a, it sounds yeah. harder than it, it is. It sounds harder. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and experiment more. I mean, there's another one I use here that yeah. kind of looks like a G two. <laughs> You know, um, and sometimes it'll sound bad. I think that there's a freedom in just trying stuff and going, well, that didn't work. But I like that shape on like the third fret. Um, yeah, play for Sixth fret, yeah. So there's this one I play a lot, which is. So locking in those positions, move them around. Boom. Yeah. That's how you play like the Suze. <laughs> Match Gold Pack is out now. Like, subscribe, whatever. All the stuff. I'll just do that stuff. <laughs> My name's been HW. I'm the Suze. HW and the Suze. Out. Out. <laughs>